Hey everyone, it's Melinda with Tailored and Teal. If you're just tuning into my channel, I am a part-time online reseller on Poshmark, Mercari, eBay, and Facebook Marketplace. And if you are a returning viewer, thank you so much for coming back. Today's video is an unboxing of some whatnot purchases that I've made over the past week. And while I'm unboxing those packages, I thought that I would give you my honest opinion about the new selling app that is all the rage. I do have my overhead fan on because it is quite hot up here. Um, I think it's supposed to be like almost 90 degrees today, so a fan is necessary. If you are not familiar with the new app Whatnot, it is an app where you can be a seller and also buy things, but it's all auction style and it's auction in front of the camera. So you're basically putting on a show for people showing items that you wanna sell. It's a really good way to get rid of inventory that you've had for quite a while because you can start any auction at any cost that you want. Um, I've been in auctions where they've started at $1 and $2. In fact, some of the sales that you'll see today that I purchased started and I purchased them at $2. Um, not a lot of money making opportunity when they sell for that amount. But if you're a bin shopper and your cost of goods is super low, it might be a good app for you. Um, I am only a buyer. I do not sell in there. I have no time. I can barely get up one YouTube video a week. So adding something else that will take multiple hours of my time just is not in my cards. But I do really enjoy watching the shows and supporting my friends as well. So the first package um, is for personal use, but I'm gonna open it up anyways. This was from Donna's Doodads. I have no idea who this person is, but she had a lot of cute stuff. And we have been in the market for salt and pepper shakers for quite a while now. For the longest time, I've had mason jar salt and pepper shakers. They're great because they're big, they can hold a lot of stuff, and they're really cute. But unfortunately, one of them broke. So now we are using like a little container with salt in it that has a lid and kind of sucks. So um, here is a first look. It's a been quite a while since I've gotten packing peanuts and pink packing peanuts at that. So let me see what this says. I think this is just my invoice. Um, yes, so I purchased these salt and pepper shakers for $6. After all the shipping and taxes, I paid a total of $12.15. And she says, hello, Melinda. Thank you so much for your purchase. I hope you love these salt and pepper shakers. Kind regards, Donna. And she left me a little cute sticker there. So Donna, not that I think that you were watching, but if you are, thank you. I'm really excited to get these. So not only did she do packing peanuts, but she also wrapped it up really well with some cellophane wrapping paper. Is that what it's called? Cellophane? I always just call it cling wrap because I think that's what I grew up calling it. All right, so lots of bubble wrap. And then she individually wrapped them in tissue paper, not tissue paper, packing paper, which I will definitely reuse. And cute. Oh, these are really nice and heavy. So this is Fenton. This is the hobnail pattern. And there's actually an old remnants of a sticker of the Fenton. She did say that there was a little bit of wear. I don't think it's on this one up on the top here on the silver, but super cute. I would have loved to have gotten a blue set, but I saw these and I knew that they were a really good deal. And I could actually resell these if, if I really wanted to. I saw that they were going for um, like 20, 25 bucks. And then this is the one that had just a little bit of wear there, but super clean on the inside. And like I said, they're like, they're heavy duty. They feel really nice. Okay. Happy with purchase number one. Next is a purchase from Street Savvy. Her name is Savannah. She used to be on YouTube and then she had a baby and I think things have just been, you know, life has just been happening for her. So she's been enjoying it. Um, but she is getting ready to move into a newly constructed house. So she's trying to get rid of her inventory for cheap. These were not cheap, but I did get a good deal, at least I think. So these are a pair of... Beyond Yoga, Camo Biker Shorts. 
These I actually purchased for myself. I don't know if they're gonna work. I don't think I've ever worn biker shorts that are, you know, for exercising. So we'll have to see if they're long enough. Um, there is no retail on it, but I know that I could probably even resell these if I want. So this auction was interesting because she did sudden death, which sudden death on whatnot is you get a countdown of whatever, if it's 20 seconds, 30 seconds, but there's no time added when someone bids on an item. So basically whoever gets the last bid wins. The only bad thing about that is that all of the bids that everybody else bid like piles on top of your bid and then you kind of didn't realize that it snuck up so high. So I paid $23 for these with shipping and taxes. They came to $30.51. So I am hoping that they work. Um, I'm currently working out five times a week, mostly treadmill, and we have a total gym too, so I needed more workout gear. So these are super cute, and I also absolutely love the retro mailer. The next package is from my friend Jen at thrift generation um she loves unboxings she loves mystery boxes she loves thread up boxes so her show was like uh men's t-shirts sports teams college teams things like that and i purchased three items oh she gave me a whole bunch of tissue paper to reuse love that all of these items i paid two dollars for and one of the good things about buying multiple items on whatnot is that you pay full shipping for the first item and then anything afterwards you actually get discounted shipping some of them range from one dollar up to four dollars and fifty cents depending on the weight of the item so the first item i purchased was a total of seven dollars and 83 after shipping and taxes and then the other two items were four dollars and 86 cents with shipping and taxes because i only paid two dollars per item two of these pieces are for myself oh she put a little sticker there I will link her channel down below and also put uh, wording up here so you can go follow her on YouTube. She's also on Instagram and I really enjoy watching her videos. So I was happy to support her on this app. Okay, so the first shirt, I don't know if it's gonna fit, but I couldn't leave it behind. <laughs> it's on a Comfort Colors tag. It is a size medium. It's got this cute little pocket up here that says Southern Fried Cotton very worn in faded look looks super comfortable but this is why i purchased it i absolutely love mason jars and i just thought that the graphic was really cool it's a bunch of fireflies and says southern fried cotton inspired by southern style and um, this is a size medium let me see oh well, yeah i should be able to wear it love it it feels so comfortable the second item is also for me. This is a Marvel brand. This is a size large. I absolutely love this like textured knit to it. And it is a Captain Marvel shirt. My fiance is really into Marvel movies. So by proxy, I kind of am too. At least I enjoy watching them and hopefully this one will fit. Yeah, it should fit. Awesome excited about this one and then the last one i just couldn't let it go no one was buying it someone needs to have this i don't really do a lot of swimming in the summer um i just i don't have access to a pool or a clean lake or anything like that so it's just something that i don't really get to do um but this is fun to wear and it is a bathing suit cover-up but it looks like you're wearing a bathing suit and it looks like you have a really good body. And then the back is also full. <laughs> this is so much fun. I have no idea what these will sell for, but um, I couldn't let it go. It was just so much fun. Oh, and then my last purchase is a heavy one. There are four purses in this. This is from the seller, Been There, Wore That. She does a lot of bin shopping in Ohio and she gets most of her items for a low cost of goods. I had never heard of her before whatnot, um, but I now follow her on Instagram. She's such a sweetheart. I absolutely love her spirit. She doesn't have a huge following, so you can get some good deals. And she's also making money off of her sales because her cost of goods is so low since she shops at the bins. 
So this is very heavy. I'm actually surprised that she was able to fit all four in here. One thing I do want to say is that I do think having some sort of social media presence on Instagram, YouTube, whatever it may be, is helpful in your sales on whatnot. Whatnot is definitely a numbers game. So the more people you have watching what you're selling, the more likelihood that people are going to purchase it, which is kind of the same for any platform. It's just live and right in front of you. So keep that in mind if you're thinking of being a seller on there. I'm not saying that you can't be successful if you don't have a following. I'm just saying that it might be harder for people to find you. Also, I think the time of day that you have your shows at is pretty important too. I actually really enjoy watching morning shows because it's something to put on in the background while I'm doing my corporate job, which is just kind of monotonous sometimes. So having that noise in the background, even if I'm not bidding or communicating in the chat, there's a chat that you can chat with everybody else in. It's still really nice to just have on in the background. All right. So she put it in this bag and it says tailored and teal i'm really excited about these because i got a killer deal on most of them all right so this first bag is a brighton bag here is the little brighton heart that they are very famous for it has this awesome braided effect with these little charms on it and i didn't realize that it was like a chocolatey brown color i thought it was a black but that's okay because this is beautiful very shimmery oh that is not <laughs> i thought that that was a button pocket but it's actually just two little slots back here let's check the condition on the inside she did show all of the conditions if there were any issues um, but i always like to just double check but this is fantastic and right here is the little logo from brighton these were selling anywhere from 50 to 65 so i only purchased this for nine dollars this was my first item, so I did pay full shipping on this. So total of this item was $19.44. But when I put everything in my spreadsheet, I think I might actually do like a cost average of all four items. That way uh, the shipping is a little bit more fair. So this one. Next up is something that looked so buttery soft, and it is. <laughs> it is so incredibly soft. This is a Cole Haan bag. Let me see, does it say Cole Haan anywhere? It does on the side here. I haven't had the best luck at selling Cole Haan purses in the past, but I just thought that this was so cute and I couldn't let it go. I paid $7 for it. With shipping and taxes, I paid $10.26. And you know, when I get those thread up purse boxes, my cost of goods for those purses is usually around eight to $10. So me purchasing this for $10.86 is no different. And in fact, this is in much better condition. I don't have to clean anything. It's kind of a win-win situation. It does open like this, kind of like a doctor bag style. It has this awesome green lining. And then in here is also the tag. Awesome, I love this. Next up is another purse that no one wanted to bid on. It is a cute little fossil purse with a kind of paisley floral effect. I did notice that there is some spots on the bottom, but this is canvas, so I should just be able to give it a bath. Um, there isn't really too much leather on here. It's got this little drawstring pocket, and on the inside, it is pretty clean. There's your fossil logo here. I purchased this for $7 and after taxes and fees, it came out to $9.18. And it does have this very durable canvas strap as well. And then the last bag, I really couldn't believe that no one wanted to purchase this. Um, vintage fossil seems to do pretty decent and it was just like a nice staple leather bag. This is fossil very soft again gosh so much soft stuff there's the logo on the back this says long live vintage 1954 okay so it might not actually be vintage but um has the vintage style let's see yeah no i don't think it is vintage but i like it it is clean inside i know it's really hard to see that it has this textured effect on the inside with all these little keys super cute so I paid a total of $12.42 with shipping and the cost of the item was $7. So 
super happy with this purchase. I'm actually super happy with all of my purchases, which is really exciting. Before this, I had purchased some items before. I've purchased a lot of things to resell, um, a lot of things that I can't find around me. I purchased a wild bird sling carrier for a baby. I think I paid around $17 for it. Sold on Poshmark for $45. Just after a few days of me listing it, I didn't really have to do much with it. I just threw it in the wash and then photographed it and that was it. So there are good deals to be made. And as we know, I really enjoy shopping online. So this is just another place for me to shop online and I'm having a really good time with it. I have seen some mixed reviews on people hating or liking the WhatNot app. I think people who are passing judgment maybe just don't understand how it works or maybe they're jealous maybe they can't be a seller on there maybe they don't have time like me I will be honest I am a little bit jealous that I don't have extra time to do this because I would love to get on and sell some of my jewelry just because I have so much of it but um, I think four platforms right now as a part-time seller is enough <laughs> I definitely could not add one more thing to my schedule Thank you so much for tuning into this video. I hope that you had a good time watching me unbox my purchases. As you can see, you can get some really awesome deals for both personal and reselling use. And I will include a link down below that if you want to sign up for Whatnot and you've never done it before, you actually get $10 off of your first purchase just for signing up and that's $10 in free money. So if you wanna check it out, that link will be below. Please give this video a thumbs up before you leave. And I would love to know your comments and opinions on this new selling app. If you have any questions, leave them below. I absolutely love interacting with all of my subscribers. So definitely let me know what you think down below. And as always, I will see you in the next video.